Good morning, you guys. Well, it's a bright and cheery start to our day, kind of. This is supposed to be rain, and it's the middle of December in Minnesota, and anybody with any common frickin' sense would know that it's not gonna rain in Minnesota in December, except for meteorologists. There wasn't one meteorologist that called this storm right. They all said, rain, rain, rain. Thankfully, us guys that plow snow for a living and actually have to depend on knowing what the weather's gonna do, knew that that was a crock of crap. And so we're out here ready to get the party started. This is a raptor. It's not your normal Arctic. I know. It's a, it, you hit a curb with that, you're gonna face, hit the windshield. <laughs> I, I know. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, heard, I already found out, I was like, ah, oh, it's one of these plows. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's spoiled, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's do this lot right here. We'll push it up to that pile over there. And then we'll head over to... Just right over there. Yeah, 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 sounds good. not a lot of snow and it's not deep snow but it pays the bills it keeps all my guys working it keeps all of us going I can't complain about it not everybody realizes but this black snow plow the raptor is actually an arctic but it's not their typical arctic this is the step down unit kind of like the red-headed stepchild of snow pushers basically meaning that there's nothing special or fancy about it it's just like every other snow pusher out there pusher on the front of that plow it's 28 years old don't tell me they don't last don't tell me they don't last now this is also made by arctic it's called a raptor and i don't like it it's missing the sections that really make an arctic shine see these sections right here, all of these pucks back there, that's the magic. And that is magic. That is a simple, effective design. And the only problem you're going to have with those is if you're dumb enough to ram into a bank of ice. How is it? The machine's not bad. Yeah? Wow. <laughs> Different world. It's a different, it is, isn't it? Getting stuck with this compared to that. It's like, oh. And that's what everybody else in the world runs. I is know. these just straight box plows. They don't get what they're not getting what they're missing. <laughs> oh, they have no idea. No idea. Oh man, it's good to hear it from somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> and I truly mean that. This is my drone shot. That's how I get these amazing shots. I hate running. The only time I tell people I run is if I'm being, well back in my 20s if I was being chased by a bear or the police. Now that I'm in my 50s, it's just a bear.
Let's see how Jay likes the sledge. All right, how is it compared to the Kubota? Uh, I think the Kubota pushes a little better. You think the, the Kubota pushes better? Yeah, this scrape is better, but I think the Kubota pushes better. Yeah, Jake's over there in the Kubota and he likes the machine, but he doesn't like the pusher. Yeah, I was looking at it and I was, he would go over it and I'd go back over and get it cleaner. And get it cleaner? Yeah. Are you going to work in this lot right here? I'm going to. Okay, cool. behind the backing up plow truck like I just did. Oh, snowman snow. snow power. It's a truck mounted snow pusher. One of the unique things about this is it doesn't technically wire directly into the lighting harness of the truck. It utilizes the lights of the pickup truck for all of its lights. But it does have a front mounted super bright LED bar if you do need the extra light. It's like the Cyclops of snow plows. Got that one big bright light right in the middle.
I guess it's rain. I guess you could call it rain if once you melt it, you can call it that. Even though it's not a lot of snow, if we don't push it off, it'll freeze and it'll turn into a lot of ice. And that'll be really hard to deal with. So we push everything off as clean as we possibly can, including the sidewalks, and then we can worry about it freezing later on. And that's when the salt will come. been there for a while yeah that's hard pack that's really hard bad pack. and that went i mean it's gonna slow down at all yeah so that's that's the nice part i like that good power huh very nice power and good traction so it's got a good power to traction ratio yes yes okay i decided that because that's that's huge yeah yep on my can am i'd probably be spinning really doing some of that stuff all right yep. well it is pretty yeah. hard pack nasty crunchy right. stuff because the fall on my can am is in shift this thing how durable that stuff is. Yeah, they do. Boss builds good stuff. It would be nicer if it was wider. Like an extra foot. Not that it's a big deal. You know, you can put the boss, a boss uh, plow on for, for a half ton pickup truck. You can put it on this. Oh. I'm not joking. You can put a six foot six plow on this Snow Raider. Yeah. My can amp plow is, oh my gosh, 72 inches. Okay. Almost 72 inches. That's, that's six foot. It might. It'll, it'll fit right on, Eldon. It'll fit right on. It's, it's kind of twofold. It's nice to have it on long sidewalks, but a lot of these smaller sidewalks, yeah. that's the way to go, I think. You know, if I gotta go down and back, it's not the end of the world. You know, it's not wasting that much time because I'm literally making a U-turn and going. Yeah, you're just dink, dink, dink. Yep. 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 You know, and like the caribou and stuff, yeah, a bigger plow, it would be nice. Yeah. But not the end of the world. So the big question is, is you plowed this for years yep. with that Yamaha ATV and that yep. Moose Country plow, and you flew. Yeah. And I was a little concerned that this goes eight miles an hour and oh. you would be going 28. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I would see you and... Woo, I'm like, there he goes. Yeah. And how is this compared to that? But still, I'm bouncing off the curb. I've got the bounce back on. This I can literally scoop off to the side. And it's nice because the plow sticks a little bit out farther. Yeah. So I can push it off at the edge. And I don't have to bounce this thing off the curb at all. Okay. The four wheeler, I literally have to bounce off the curb and bounce back on. Plus the plows for the can ams and the side and the four wheelers are not that tough. No, they're junk. They're junk. Yeah. After uh, after each year, I would buy a new plow. Yeah, you were buying a new plow, and you were going through five cutting edges a year yes. or more. Yeah. So that expense raised it up big time. Mm. We are inside the Amazon lot right now. So this is Amazon corporate headquarters. They've got an interior to the building and then they've got a second uh, level that wraps all the way around. You can see all of the delivery vans up in there. 
and uh, we're coming in for an emergency cleanup. This is not our not our account. Another one of those emergency phone calls. Uh, this company, whoever does this, I guess their loader went in the ditch. Is what I heard. That's the story I heard. So. Um, we're coming in just to make sure that everything gets cleaned up. So this was not even supposed to be a plowable event today. This was supposed to be a, a rainstorm. This is the wettest, uh, the whitest rain I've seen, but whatever. Of this storm so this storm system is supposed to have multiple phases over the next three days so it's supposed to be a four-day event we're in day one we still got three days left what Alex is doing in the pickup truck is he's windrowing everything out Jake right now he's pushing around the light poles so that we can get straight shots so that uh, we can come in and just do a good straight run for over 20 years oh. I think how you encourage young people to get into this is amazing oh thank you yeah, sir I really, really appreciate what you do my Mu kid watches you much and appreciated sports interests and what you guys did or your the couple videos I saw with uh, what is it G and G and M G and M Garrett and, yeah and Garrett and Marley awesome and those kids are yeah. kicking butt man so, what are you doing are you with Kevin so I'm with Kevin and we're we're inside there's actually behind those garage doors are airplane simulators and we're digging pits on the inside of this building for two more simulator bays really yep oh wow so pretty cool little building here that is pretty so, cool i so this i thought this was amazon corporate headquarters nope they're so cae is the training people and they lease pretty much everything from that overhead door there 
all the way around to where our pickups are. So I'm looking at all those vans coming out every day and we're jiggle joggling around them yep. all the time. Yeah, and I, I think they just rent space to park up there. Oh, all right. That's what I understand. What's your name? Nick. Nice to meet you, Nick. Yep. So keep up the, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, sir. It. Much appreciated. All right, well, uh, we got to go do the outside loop now. Zach almost backed up into the other loader. I know. <laughs> he does that a lot. You see the hole in the front of my plow? Yeah. <laughs> the ride and uh, we got more snow coming in two days so there'll be more snow plowing videos coming out so hit that subscribe button and the bell notification wherever that may be and this thing goes a long way god bless go get them you guys we'll catch you on the next one